Four years ago, Young Women's College Prep Academy and Young Men's, now known as the Mickey Leland College Preparatory Academy, opened its doors as the district's only senior gender schools. Recently, the class of 2015 became the first graduates for these outstanding programs. Joining me today is Young Women's Valedictorian Derenisha Arsenault and Mickey Leland's Valedictorian Kevin Villada. Along with Young Women's College Access Coordinator Lee Canales and Mickey Leland's Dean of Instruction Sukhdeep Kaur. So congratulations to you all, especially to our two graduates. These four years, I'm sure, have flown by very, very quickly, or not so much. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about your graduation ceremonies and how you felt at them. It was a success, and it was emotional being the first graduating class, and it was just a phenomenal experience. Yes, it was a very momentous moment for all, all of us and my brothers, as I, we like to call ourselves, was very emotional as well. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I, th I think everybody in the district was emotional about that um, for uh, all of you and, and so very happy. And I was very happy to have shared in that as well. Dear Anisha, so you're planning to attend Pitzer um, for neuroscience or engineering management. And I know you've received acceptance letters from 11 universities, I think, totaling over a million dollars in scholarships. Yes, well, that's amazing. It really is. Um, how do you feel the, the four years you spent at Young Women's has prepared you for what you plan to do at Pitzer? I feel that I'm definitely college ready. Um, being that at Young Women's, we took a lot of field trips to a lot of colleges and had a lot of tours and sat in the college environment. I feel that we're definitely ready. We have the grit and the resilience to persevere in college. And what about you, Kevin? As you head to MIT to major in chemical engineering, tell us a little bit about your experience at the boys' school. Well, I met a lot of wonderful teachers who really challenged me academically. And they also pushed me to succeed beyond the classwork that I was given. And also the students who I collaborated, collaborated with them a lot, they never seemed to want to fail. They always want to succeed, always. Mm -hmm. Sounds like wonderful environments. Yeah. Lee, will you tell us a little bit about the inaugural class at the Young Men's Prep? Where are they going? How much do they receive in scholarships? Sure. At Young Women's I mean, College Preparatory Academy, um, I inherited 44 amazing young women from Ms. <laughs> Um They were admitted to over 56 unique institutions across 16 states, garnering over $5.76 million in scholarships. Wow being admitted to over 115, receiving over 150 um, application admittances all over. So we're really proud of the young women. They're very mature for their age. And um, I think one of the best parts about them is that they recognize their weaknesses. And rather than consider them to be, um, I guess, something to keep them down, they're just another challenge to get over. And some of them were not admitted to the schools that they were hoping to get into, but they dusted themselves off, they kept their chins high, and they moved on. That's amazing. Being the inaugural class, I'm sure, had its um, upsides and downsides because it's all new, um, but the stories that we've heard come out of that school and from those young people have just been amazing. Sigdi, so tell us um, about the 18 young men that crossed the stage at the Young Men's Academy, and what are their plans and how much scholarship funds did they receive? Absolutely. So I inhabited these 18 wonderful young men in the fall and helped them through the college application process and most of our students are first gen students like Kevin so who had really no f family support in terms of how to navigate through the entire application process but all 18 of our graduating seniors are all attending a four-year university in the fall which was one of our big um, big pushes that they all go to a four-year university and they will receive they have received over 2.76 2.8 million dollars in scholarships because Kevin just told me on the way here he forgot to give me one of his financial aid packages. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Cornell which is another $200,000 that I have to add in. So 
our kids have absolutely exceeded my expectations. And we always say we set the bar very high. And Mr. Canella said this in this, his speech yesterday at graduation, uh -huh. that our first graduating classes have definitely set the bar extremely high for our juniors and our sophomores. And they've definitely exceeded all expectations of ours. Well, at a 100% rate of acceptance, you can't get much better than right. that. So that is very amazing for those children. And besides being same gender schools, what do you feel um, sets your schools apart from other schools in the district? So I think that our school is distinct in that I have a personal relationship with each and every single one of our students. That when they walk down the hallway, I can turn to them and say, where are you and what is the status on so-and-so application? And I know exactly. I'm keeping tabs. It's hard for them to run away from me. <laughs> and I think that personal relationship that each of them have with not only me, but the rest of the administration and the teachers allows them to really not veer off the path. And so they don't have much opportunity to slip. And keeping them on track, especially at an AP campus where all of our students, if you look at even the best of the high schools in our district, most seniors don't take five AP courses. Kevin took five advanced placement courses, which is as much as a college freshman would take, and then also took two other AP exams just to receive credit because he'd studied on his own time. So Derenisha and Kevin, ladies first, if you were to give any advice to an incoming middle schooler or an incoming high schooler, what would you give that, them as the best advice going in? The best advice that I would give them was to just stay headstrong and know their goals and know their purpose and to not let anyone tell them that they can't do it. Very good advice. And you, Kevin? Well, I would tell them to find a passion in the academics because if they find a passion, anywhere in academics that w they will succeed in college and in the future as well. Very mature responses. Well, thank you all for being here this morning and um, thank you certainly faculty for the work that you do with these wonderful young people. We are very, very proud of each and every one of the graduates at this school and we want you to come back certainly and let us know about the wonderful things that you are both doing on your trajectories in life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.